Good morning. We are heading to another bonsai workshop today. We are going to be taking my Trident Maple Forest to get repotted. Uh, it is root bound and so I want to try to take you guys through the process of pulling a tree that is root bound out of the pot. Then we got to separate all the trees uh, and their root balls and get them into a new pot with a new design uh, in mind. So I want to go through that process with you guys and hopefully I learned something and you guys as well. So I'll take you along for the ride. So during the process here, as I'm trying to get everything loose and untied from the pot so that I'm able to remove it and be able to get everything cleaned up and separated. So as I'm trying to figure out why this tree's not coming out of the pot, you use various tools, like I'm using this knife here to try to cut the roots around the edge to free it from the pot. And ultimately I find that there are some wires on the bottom of the pot that are actually has this thing tied in. And so once I cut those wires and get everything separated, sure enough, the tree just pops right out. And you can see how root bound uh, this tree was in the pot. So all of these roots, now I'm taking a root rake and cleaning this up and ultimately we're going to cut all this off and start separating uh, the trees. Now that I got kind of the roots kind of cleaned off the bottom here, we're going to start separating uh, the trees from each other to be able to get them in the new pot and organized how we need them. Here I'm setting up the new pot, getting the wires run through the bottom to be able to tie in all the trees to make sure that they are secure to the pot and make sure that the trees do not move around. So I start working on placing the tree and getting some dirt in there and I'm kind of getting in over my head here with trying to do this. So uh, I work with uh, one fellow, his name's Dan. Uh, he was a huge help and helped me kind of get the new design for the tree. And then we have John who will come over and help me kind of finish out uh, getting the design laid out and also getting everything repotted and tied in. See, so your main tree is, this trunk is coming, now it's, it is the dominant tree okay. into the composition I got you. on this side. And then, I, then you see this one over here, and these kind of complement that with the side. It's just, I'm not saying that's wrong, it's just yeah, yeah. things that catch my eye oh, yeah, no. that you look at. You've been doing it long longer than I have. Well, these are all... But it's, I, I guess yeah. I like the position and the visibility of this one here is the top tree. And, yeah. And seeing this, clearly seeing this trunk in the distance gives it a lot of depth. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we start out 
with your number one tree and your number two tree. That's where my eyes yeah. went when yeah. you're doing a forest. You want to get them because everything else then complements yeah. them. Yeah. This one can be separate from mm -hmm. these a little bit, but these two are closer. Yeah. These two yeah. are closer. I like that better. Yeah. That looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay, we'll get you to sit down and see what you oh, think. You're good. I can sit no, back here. You can come out. Yeah, that looks, that looks really good. I like this, how it's high and goes down low. Yeah. And you definitely need an area here about the size of your hand, usually. And then, you know, they always have that middle thing there, usually. Yeah. And I like this here, how it scoops out from underneath them. Yeah. I like that a lot. Because it looks like it's trying to get out from them. Yeah. All right. Now, how do we do it? Yeah, this is going to be the hardest part. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me go and get you some soil. I put one more screen there. And that way we can just um, time all together. And then we will work all of it in. Okay, so we said this one and this one right here. Yep. Get a chance all over it. Making fun of me? Yes. yes. <laughs> no. The question is, are you going home after this? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whom are you going? At this facility. I have to. Yes. I have to clean up here first. Take care of the dogs. I have to clean. I have to sweep here first. So if y'all, if y'all want to sweep, <laughs> um, if if y'all would clean up, try and clean up a little bit, that would be help me out fantastically. <laughs> Oh, the truck's when, when is this over? Yes, sir. I tried to get them to let us stay a little bit longer because of the incident, but they said they have a wedding, so. I've uh, set my alarm for PM, so I can so this one moved. Right so we'll have to do that. And we can fix a lot of it when we yeah. mash the soil in there. <laughs> Um, so I'm just tightening them just a little bit, yep. and then what we'll do is we'll get the soil worked in, and then we'll tighten them a little bit more. Alright. So... That one and that one. I don't know where this one is. Okay. Alrighty. Because that's the only one left, right? Oh, this one here. No. No. You can start putting salt here yeah. if you want to. Yep. This looks really good. What is that? You're welcome. Thank you for coming. aggravates me so I kind of there is all kinds of different tricks the best one I think is that the there's like this way of making scaffolding underneath the pot uh, or underneath the root ball and it yeah. works really good but it just takes a long time to get the pot ready like probably more than actually putting the trees together and once you get it grow you know together you'll never have to take the trees apart again yeah Yeah, 
water it, it you know it'll help it um, stick onto these sides um, and you can also do moss um, you know sphagnum moss um, a lot of people use dry sphagnum moss to keep moisture after a repot especially since you've got leaves I would do something like that okay um, I have some in my van if you need it yeah I, I guess I guess I was I called site one on Thursday I guess yeah. I was asking for the wrong stuff uh, what's what's this, what's this? Oh, this is actually I get this from somewhere else. So the, oh. the stuff I get from site one is the clay colored stuff here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's called yeah. turfus. turfus. Okay. Yeah. So I have a bag out there if you want to take a picture of it. The okay. gray the gray rock is actually uh, made for um, lightweight concrete. Okay. So I think it's a, a brand called Ac Acrylose or something like that. I get it at a Livingston. Um, but it's what the nurseries use in their in their soil mixtures. Um, for nursery pots. Do you want to leave that? Yeah, I would leave it. We're going to put spag, I would put spag and moss over that. Okay. It might be a neat little feature in the future. Once it blows up, you know, yeah. it, you know, it'll look like just a knot of wood, which might be interesting. But if you don't like it, you can always just cut it off. I try and leave stuff like that just for a little while. If yeah. I like it. If it was obtrusive, I probably would get rid of it. Mostly these. Yeah, those okay. those three right there. Put a chopstick under it. And it'll Once you get this going, in about two years, we can put it in some little bit better soil to get the leaves smaller and stuff like that. But I like the stuff like this. I like to put in, you know soil that you want to get branching and everything. Yeah. And pine bar is good for that because it holds on to fertilizer a lot longer. Gotcha. So a lot of people like the pine bar. Thank you, Doug. Yeah. 
I appreciate it. Yeah, this one is getting something like that tied down good. I knew it needed your hands on. too high yeah so we can you can do this now or later or you know take some away i would wait until we know if everything's gonna be okay, okay. um and then i would do it okay. let me go and um go and water it and we got to get some sphagnum out of my van before we before you leave okay. 